In this figure, we have a circle inscribed in a triangle with the sides of 6, 8, and 10 units. We need to find the sum of AO, BO, and CO. In this triangle, all three sides are tangents to this circle. Side AB intersects the circle at this point, and let's call it point D. Side BE intersects the circle at this point, and let's call it point E. Then side AC intersects the circle at this point, and we will call it point F. Now let's connect the center of the circle with each of these points. Then we can say that DO is equal to EO and it's equal to FO because each of these line segments represent the radius of the circle. And we can also call this radius using the letter R. Now the radius of a circle is always perpendicular to the tangent line at the point of tangency. So then, these two angles are right angles, and these two are also right angles, as well as these two. Now, let's take a look at the side AB. This side is 10 units, and the distance from A to D is unknown, so let's call it X. Then the line segment AF is also X. These two line segments are equal, because if we have a circle, and a point that is outside of the circle, and if from this point we draw two tangent segments to the circle, then these two segments are equal. Now, if AB is 10 units and AD is X units, then BD will be equal to 10 minus X. And if AC is 6 units and AF is X units, then CF will be equal to 6 minus x. And now if CF is 6 minus x, then CE is also 6 minus x. And if BD is 10 minus x, then BE is also 10 minus x. Now side BC is 8 units, and we can find x by solving the following equation. 6 minus x plus 10 minus x equals 8. So again, 6 minus x plus 10 minus x equals 8. On the left side, we will combine the like terms, and negative x plus another negative x makes negative 2x, and 6 plus 10 makes 16. All this equals 8. Now we'll subtract 16 from both sides, then negative 2x equals negative 8. Then if we divide both sides by negative 2, we will get that x equals 4. So we found x, and in the next step, we will find the area of the entire triangle A, B, C. And for this, we will use Heron's formula. We can use this formula when we are given all three sides in a triangle. And here we have it, and this formula has two parts. So if we have a triangle with the sides A, B, and C, first we need to find the number S that is half of the sum of A, B, and C. Once we find this number, then the area is equal to the square root of S times S minus side A times S minus side B and times S minus side C. So then, let's find number S for our triangle ABC. S equals 1 half times 6 plus 8 and plus 10. Then 6 plus 8 plus 10 makes 24, and 24 divided by 2 makes 12. Once we have this number, then we can find the area. And here we will take the square root of 12 times 12 minus side 6 times 12 minus side 8 and times 12 minus side 10. Then the whole expression inside the square root is equal to 576 and square root of 576 is equal to 24. So we found the area of the triangle ABC and this area is 24 square units. Now let's look at the triangle ABO. 
In this triangle, we can say that the base is 10 units and the height is r. Then we can find the area of this triangle by multiplying 1 half by the base 10 and by the height r. 1 half times 10 equals 5 and 5 times r is 5r. Next, we will look at the triangle B, C, O. In this triangle, we can say that the base is 8 and the height is r. To find the area of this triangle, we will multiply 1 half by 8 and by r. Then all this equals 4r. And now in the triangle ACO, we can say that the base is 6 and the height is r. Then the area of this triangle is 1 half times the base 6 and times the height r. 1 half times 6 is 3 and 3 times r is 3r. So we found the areas of three individual triangles and if we add them together, we will get the area of the triangle ABC. So then we will write that 5r plus 4r plus 3r equals 24. If we solve this equation, we will find r and r represents the radius of the circle. On the left side, 5r plus 4r plus 3r makes 12r and 12r equals 24. Then if we divide both sides by 12, we will get that r equals 2. Now once we know x and r, then we can find AO, BO and CO. For this we will start with the triangle ADO and in this triangle we know x, we know r and we need to find the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse AO equals the square root of x squared which is 4 squared plus r squared which is 2 squared. And 4 squared is 16 and 2 squared is 4 and 16 plus 4 is 20. Now to simplify square root of 20 we will write 20 as a product of 4 and 5. Then square root of 4 is 2 and we will keep 5 inside. Now let's take a look at the triangle BEO. In this triangle the side BE is 10 minus x and if we replace x with 4 then 10 minus 4 will be 6. The side EO is r and r equals 2 then we can find the hypotenuse using Pythagorean theorem. The hypotenuse BO equals square root of 6 squared plus 2 squared. Then 6 squared equals 36 and 2 squared equals 4 and 36 plus 4 equals 40. Then to simplify square root of 40 we will write it as a product of 4 and 10 and square root of 4 is 2 and we will keep 10 inside. And now let's look at the triangle CFO. In this triangle CF is 6 minus x and if we replace x with 4 then 6 minus 4 is equal to 2. The side FO is also 2 and we can find the hypotenuse CO by applying the Pythagorean theorem. So CO equals square root of 2 squared plus 2 squared. 2 squared is 4 so we will have square root of 4 plus 4 which makes square root of 8 and to simplify square root of 8 we will write it as a product of 4 and 2 and square root of 4 is 2 and we will keep the other 2 inside. So we just found AO, BO and CO. Now to find their sum, let's add these numbers together. So to get this sum, we will add 2 square root of 5, 2 square root of 10, and 2 square root of 2. If we want the exact sum, then we will keep this answer, but if we want an approximate, then we can use the calculator. Then the approximate sum will be 13.6 units. 
So we found the sum AO, BO and CO and now the problem is completed. I hope you liked this problem and the solution. Please subscribe, leave a comment and thank you for watching.